we're moving into the first week in October now so I'm going to do uh, an October raised bed update and I hope I can get this in before the rain comes because it doesn't look too far away what you're looking at now is what I've been calling turnips in my uh, previous videos but actually they're a swede and they're a swede called best of all uh, I've taken two of these already this year and they've, they've, they've been really nice swedes um, but these ones are still quite small so they'll need to grow on and what you've got uh, right in front of the camera flapping about are uh, some spring cabbage called often ham uh, there were some broad beans, dwarf broad beans growing there uh, but they're well finished, they're, they're, they've gone a month or two back um, so I've reinvigorated the bed with some spent compost from my potatoes in pots and bags and carrots I've reinvigorated the bed with that and I've, I've put these um, spring cabbage in uh, so they should overwinter and be nice next year We're still on my uh, top raised bed. I've come round the other side now. Um, you can probably see bamboo supporting parsnips. I've already lifted two or three parsnips and you can see by this area of ground here, there are the parsnips that have been up. And I've been happy with those. We've had some good parsnips. And in behind the parsnips are these leeks. And I'm not sure if you can make this one out, but this one's actually gone to seed. Um, and the one next door is going to see it as well. So I'm going to lift those two leaks today because they won't grow on very much now. In fact, they'll just become woody and carry on going to seed. All the energy will be put into seed production. I'm going to take two leaks today. I'll try not to disturb the next door neighbours, but these are the two we're taking. Not a bad leak, apart from the fact that it's gone to seed. Okay, there's the seed head. Um, unfortunately, that's one. This is another. In fact, we've done what we didn't want to do. We've actually taken the third one. So, we'll take that one as well. So we've taken three leaks. I'll clean those up the garden later and show you them again. OK, uh, and there's nothing much else to look at in this bed, so we'll, uh, we'll move on to the middle raised bed now. This is my middle raised bed. This was my onion bed. All the onions have gone now, and the shallots were in here as well. They've gone too. Uh, so I'm just utilising this bed to stand some pots on. Um, these are flowers for the border. I'm not too sure whether I'll put these in before winter arrives or, or overwinter them. Um, we've got some, for you, if you're interested, we've got some antirhinums, we've got some yellow fox gloves, we've got some poppies, large poppies, small yellow poppies, we've got viola, trailing viola. We've all kinds of bits and pieces in here. And these are packets of seed that I had that I've just sown. So these will all finish up in the border later. I've sown a few reserve garlic in there just in case any of my garlic fail and they'll go in. Um, and over to this side I've got some chives in pots. Now the, it's the chives in pots. Um, they're normally on the patio but because I've got space I've, I've just popped them in here. Uh, and the only thing that's actually growing in this bed apart from those few lettuce that you might be able to see uh, just in front of the camera. They're about finished now. But the only thing that's growing in this bed now uh, is a courgette. And that's a courgette that grow that's growing in the bed but I've trained over onto the path. Uh, I'll move the camera around now and I'll show you that courgette. courgette. These courgettes have been uh, quite successful really. They have they've, they've pr pr produced a lot of courgettes. Uh, and I've, I've been really pleased that I've been able to train them out of the bed because they are a big plant. If you plant these in a raised bed, you're not going to get much more in. But I've managed to uh, keep the roots in the bed, but the plant uh, trailing over the side of the bed and onto the path. I'll just move this camera down and I'll show you that.
this is the courgette. Um, I'm not too sure what you're getting on the camera, but there's a couple of flowers on there, and there's two or three courgettes on there. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's coming over the edge of the bed. Uh, I've put some rubber protection on the edge of the uh, bed just to stop it chafing. Otherwise, if it, if it wears through the uh, the stem of the plant, it'll be a good night for Vienna. So I put some protection on there so that if the wind blows it, uh, it, it, it doesn't uh, wear through the stem of the plant. Um, and so as I said, there are two or three flowers and two or three courgettes uh, on here. I've moved to the uh, bottom bed now and I have another couple of courgettes growing just like the one in the, in the middle bed. These two courgettes are planted in the bed but trained over on the path. Uh, there's flowers and courgettes on, on both these plants. Still on the bottom bed, I've moved the camera around now. Uh, we have one or two lettuce hanging on. Uh, I've, I've also planted some more of these uh, spring cabbage. They're the same as the ones in the top bed, but obviously these are further behind, so we should get a bit of uh, continuity there. And these are some more um, Swedes. I've got a short row of Swedes here, so when the Swedes in the top bed are finished, hopefully these Swedes will, uh, these Swedes should be just about right. In the end of this bed, we've got some beetroot. We've got a lovely wee flower that's set itself. I don't know if you can see that. We've got some beetroot. Behind the beetroot, We've got some carrots, and behind the carrots we've got some more leeks. Now, I'm going to take a couple of carrots today, and I'm also going to take a couple of beetroot, so um, let's see what we get here, see if we can find a couple of decent ones. Okay, it's a nice beetroot, we'll take him up the garden and give him a wash, get another look at that hopefully. See if there's one back here, I think, was it? Size. And again, if you're careful, try not to take the next door neighbour because they'll, they'll grow on. Um, as you can see, these two beetroot are tennis ball size, I would say, I would guess. Okay, three. Let's do a couple of carrots. Okay, I'm not too sure what these carrots are, I'll, I'll just have a look. So Chantney Red Core, so not a bad wee carrot, okay. Another one, another two and we'll make that two. There's our carrots. OK, we'll take those up the garden and give those a wash as well. Right, we're up the garden. Let's uh, clean these guys up, see what they look like. There we go. Seen this one before. Carrots. Olympic um, event, swimming pool. Synchronized carrots. Yep. Well, they're looking a lot nicer, aren't they? Washed up, cleaned up. I'll give them a better clean when I take them indoors, but they look okay. Still very straight too. There we 
go up. Couple of nice big trout. And these leaks. That's nine inches. I can span nine inches. It's a nine inch of uh, shank. Last one. How's that looking? Very nice lakes. A few carrots, a couple of bait out. Raised bed gardening, home grown veg. Thanks for watching.